G'day fellas. Welcome to another video on the United States. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at all the unique infrastructure available to the United States. There's a number of different pieces of infrastructure that the United States have got that is unique to them. So in this video, we're going to be talking about each of them. Over the past couple of videos, you may have seen me referring to or even talking about these pieces of infrastructure. So if you want to skip to a different piece of infrastructure, then by all means, head down to the description. I'm going to leave timestamps for each individual building. So if there's one thing that you'd like to know specifically, you can take a look at it there. So the first piece of infrastructure that we're going to be talking about is the state capital. So the state capital is available in age three. However, with a card, you can get it in, in age two. And that card, my friend, is available to Virginia. It's a federal card called Virginia General Assembly. So it ships one state capital wagon and makes the next upgrade research at the state capital free. So what we're going to do, we're going to age up with Virginia. We're not going to send that card just yet, though. What we're going to do is we're going to age up just... Uh, we'll go to age three because, as you can see, it's not available yet, state capital. But now, now it's available. So we're going to drop that down. I'll do it. And then we will talk a little bit about uh, the state capital. So the state capital, it's not your normal capital. A little bit different. So first thing is state capital can train wagons. So you can train wagons for any of these five buildings. So town center, mill, trade post, outpost, and the states. So we'll just put one in queue for every single thing. There you go. Is that a bank as well? No, that's an estate. It looks like a bank wagon, doesn't it? An estate wagon. Uh, so we've got all of the different... Uh, all of the different yes, um, yes. buildings here that, that you can build. Um, we've got the trading post as well, so chuck him down over there. Um, oh, the estate, ne estate never went down. Okay. Um, so that's they're your options. Uh, we'll get rid of the military wagon because that was part of our age up. So you can build all of these. Uh, you can build all of these wagons here for the U United States uh, with the state capital. Now they cost the exact same amount as your standard, um, as your standard buildings do. However. We can reduce the cost of them with a unique tech, unique to the United States, which is called Oregon Trail. So construction wagons are cheaper, stronger, and travel more quickly. Hit points are increased by 100%, speed increased by 25%, and cost reduced by 25%. So let's get that research and take a look how fast they move now. So they have five movement speed and double the health. So not too bad at all. Uh, so that is it. Now, this can actually be reduced even further. If you've got the Cray on your map, or if you ally with the Cray... So, if you ally with, uh, uh, I believe it is with Pennsylvania, you ally with Pennsylvania, ally with the Cray, uh, so you can send you can send a, a Cray shipment f uh, from Pennsylvania and then ally with them, you can reduce these down even further. So, you can see now they're sitting at 375 for a covered wagon, 300 for a mill, not too shabby on the prices, um, but that's, that's an interesting mechanic. Um, so, in, in normally, if you wanted to send it in the second age, you would need to send in the card, so... Take a look there. We've got the Virginia General Assembly. Uh, so I can actually send that one in right now and actually have two uh, state capitals. Um, I, I think that might have been... I don't even know if that's an oversight. I mean, if you want to go for two state capitals, by all means, go for it. Uh, so the next one is state constitutions. And so that is an increase to your hit points for your walls as well as your buildings. 1,250 food. So the, the first upgrade was 1,000 wood. And then we've got statehood. So the next federal state you research or are researching will up... Age up 50 seconds faster and grant twice as many XP crates. So each age that you age up with the United States, you get XP crates. You come up to age 2, 200. Age 3, 300. Age 4, 400. Age 5, you guessed it, 600. No, I'm just kidding. It's 500. But it will double the next upgrade or the next age up that you get after statehood. So if you, even if you're, like you're midway through an age up and you hit statehood, let's say you're going to age 3, you'll get 600 xp crates when you age up or 600 sorry 600 xp in the resource crates when you age up so really cool um some interesting mechanics that you can do so as an example in in the fast fortress video i i showed uh so you can ship virginia general company i'm sorry virginia general assembly you can drop down your uh, your state capital and now you've got uh statehood which is free so now you can age up to the fortress age more quickly 50 seconds more quickly and when you age up you get 600 experience so if we if we were to do that uh, i think we're already in the fortress age actually so let's just pretend that it, uh, it's it's not but we'll go up to the fourth age you can see one two so you've got 400 xp in this crate 400 xp in this crate large collection of books uh so really cool 
Uh, so the next upgrade that we'll be talking about are immigrants. So immigrants have been moved to the fourth age for the United States. They also have their cost reduced by 100 for each immigrant shipment that you've sent. So as an example, I've got two immigrant shipments in my deck, so I might send both of those. Let's send them in. Irish, Irish immigrants has arrived. Dutch immigrants has arrived. So now, new Mexico immigration only costs 1,800 coin. So, you know, it, it's something small, but at the same time, not too bad, hey? You know, like, a, it's a nice little discount, and, uh, you know, it's there. So why not? Uh, you've also got your hero upgrade. So your explorer, he is an absolute tank for the United States. Uh, he can also get his upgrade. So we've got cadets. This is in fourth age. Keep that in mind. 1,500 food. And then we've got brigadier general. So 1,000 food increases 100% all action damages and adds a thousand hit points so check that one out now you've got an absolute tank of an explorer in the third age huge so pretty cool then you've got some other stuff so you've also got um iowa farmlands pine street uh, pine pine tree state and mountain state gold rush and you've also got spies blockade and legendary native warriors that are all available in the fifth age and so that is the state capital uh very interesting strategies that you can throw out, especially good in treaty, I would uh, I would assume, uh, the state capital, especially when you combine it with those bonuses. So let's take a look now at the, uh, at, at the next building that we're going to be talking about, which is going to be the Meeting House. So the Meeting House, especially, uh, it's, it's a unique building to the United States. Now, you can build it uh, with, in any age. So we, uh, we'll just chuck in some cheats. I did say we, you can build it in any age. That's incorrect. You can build it from the second age yes. onwards. So I can't build it meeting house. Uh, it's essentially your church for the United States, but it's not a church. So we're going to age up uh, with Pennsylvania. Now we can drop down our meeting house, but with Pennsylvania, when, once, you, once you've elected to add Pennsylvania to your state, to your federal, um, to your federal union. So you've, you've got here, this is the, the church. Uh, you can send from the home city. So if we just go, uh, we'll go the Pensy Push because we're, we're playing with Pennsylvania. Uh, we'll get to, we'll get these guys onto the XP crates. Pretty important, I would say. Get those XP in. All right, so now we've got our first shipment. So we can get our unique church card, the Philadelphia Convention, which is for the Meeting House. But one of the things to note is it actually ships the Meeting House wagon from the home city. So you don't actually need to drop down a Meeting House, but we'll do it just for old time's sake anyway. Get out of there. Get out of there. Look at that little fat sheep. All right, so it drops that down. Oh, that, that's actually a pretty cool mechanic. You can actually have two meeting houses and they can both be trickling XP. That's pretty big brain. I, I didn't think about that. That's uh, I guess they're not as effective as a, as a trading post, but it's, it's still not a bad idea, is it? So there's three different technologies that you can get. They're all available in the second age for uh, Pennsylvania. So the first one is the Pennsylvania pound. So as a 2.5 trickle of coin. So that's basically a bank. Okay, that's that's pretty decent. A bank is 2.75. So that's 2.5. So, you know, it, it's it's pretty darn close. But it reduces the work rate on estates and whales. So it's a trade-off that you're going to have to make. Personally, it's very rare that you actually use estates. When you think about the United States, you've got factories, you've got your bank, you've got capitalism coin trickle, you've got Pennsylvania pound, you have a lot of coin. Especially because you get your factory in the third age. You get one factory in the third age. You've got a... a decent amount of coin trickling in. It's like, it's got to be more than, hold on, let me do the math right now. Capitalism is 1.5. This is 2.5. So that's four. You've got a bank. So that's 2.75. So that takes you up to 6.75. Then you've got 5.5 on top of that. So six point. So it's, it's like more than 12 coin per second is trickling in. That's like 20 villages on coin. That's a lot of villages, man. That's, that's pretty, that's pretty intense, man. That's like five banks. That's a lot. So you're not really too worried about estate. So I think this is this is a really, really good upgrade. I, I get this straight away whenever I ship this in. Uh, I have been relying on it on quite a lot, obviously, with my Pennsylvania push. If you haven't seen that video, uh, check out the YouTube channel. We have got it on there. Uh, in addition to that, there's also two unique texts that you can research. You can research these in any age. Uh, so the first one is Pen First Pennsylvania Rifles. So it ships a regiment of sharpshooters, delivers of five sharpshooters. And the second one is Pennsylvania Cavalry. Ships a regiment of carbine cavalry, delivers five carbine cavalry. So that's 800 food and 575 food on that one. Orders. So some pretty cool techs. Uh, you've also got mass cavalry, uh, which is available to uh, to most civilizations. Uh, and then standing army as well. It's reduced though, not 40%, it's 35%. And bill of rights. So instead of mercantilism, you get bill of rights, which is, uh, it actually delivers like these little books on the ground. You've got to gather them up. So it does take time. It's not like mercantilism, just depositing it into your bank immediately. 
Now, you've also got access to the surgeon. So I don't think any other civilizations have got access to the surgeon without without shipping it in. So you can get like, you can drop down the field hospitals uh, with the surgeons. The field hospitals are like an AOE healing um, mechanic. And they've also got medical science. So healers have increased speed and hit points. So 15% uh, speed, 35% hit points. So these guys are actually pretty tanky when you think about it. Now they are expensive. So don't start thinking, oh, I'm going to start using them in... Uh, in some sort of strategy they're bloody expensive so 486 hit points sure they'll survive a couple falc shots but i tell you what they uh you know they, they don't really do a lot other than other than tank damage and so we've also got gas lightning and uh, town watch and redoubts so this is the unique wall upgrade for the united states so they don't get bastion like the other civilizations in europe get walls are cheaper and have more hit points so it reduces the cost for the walls by 20 percent. so not a lot from five down to four and then increases the build time by 40% and hit points by 200%. So it's a it's a fair amount. Um, but that's it for for the uh, for the meeting house. Let's move on to the final building. So the final yeah, building is way. the saloon. So yes, the United States has got access to the saloon. The other civilizations have had their saloon reworked. So they don't get the saloon. They get something different now. Uh, I can't. I think I can't remember exactly what it's called. It might be like uh, no, I I, I can't remember. But uh, we'll go into the fourth age. I want to show you guys what it looks like in the fourth age. It's a really cool looking building. I love the look of it. Oh my god, isn't that so sexy? Have a look at that. I have not... That is just so beautiful. I love it. So that's the saloon. So the United States saloon. So you've got access to three mercenaries in here. So you've got Arsonist, Iron Troop, and Fusilier. That changes every game, every map. Uh, but you've also got access to the Owl Hoot and the Cowboy and the Gunslinger. So we'll, uh, we'll take a quick look at those. We'll see what they actually... Uh, what they are, what they do, whether they're viable. They've also got upgrades in here. So if we just get out a whole bunch of owl hoots, so let's let's queue up a couple of owl hoots, a couple of cowboys, get them onto the enemy explorer. So we've got this is kind of like the skirmisher unit. Then you've got like this is kind of the musketeer mid range unit, and then you've got the cowboy, which does ranged bonus and has damage against enemy cavalry. So the owl hoots got a couple of different upgrades that you can get as the United States. So they do, um, they definitely have got you know, upgrades if you do want to go down that path. Uh, but in addition to that, you've got the Peacemakers upgrade, which increases all out action damages for Outlaw. So that's, I think it's a fourth age upgrade. Then you've got Wild West and uh, Refreshing Beverages. So each of the Owl Hoot, Cowboy, and Gunslinger have now had their abilities uh, added to them. So they've got Buckshot. So a round of Buckshot dealing area damage. So you bring it over here. If you bring it over here, excuse me, Buckshot, you can see he's got two... Uh, is, I think, do, you, do you have to be in a certain range? I think, yeah, th there you go. Now Buckshot's gone off. So okay. it must be like a close range ability or something like that. Obviously not not the strongest ability. Oh, there's Buckshot going off. That looked really cool how he, how he sort of stood back. He knocked down a tree with it as well. That Okay, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, definitely some interesting mechanics that are at play there. But that is it when it comes to the unique buildings for the United States. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, hit that like button. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.